This is a Optimus uh, Hiker Plus. Um, it's basically based on the old, uh, you know, 111s. So whether it's the 111 with the roar burner, the early one, the 111B, the the gasoline only one, the 111C, the 111T, or even one of those Norwegian uh, strange burnered. Um, 111Ds. The point is that later in the history they didn't have those kind of burners anymore so they adapted the Nova burner into this style of box with a steel tank and, and not so well made in my opinion steel tank to connect it with, to the fuel supply put the control on the left hand side and there you have it. Um, are they great stoves? I don't think they're all that great. I think you're better off with a vintage 111 but here's one, and it's got a Bernie Dog, Dog and Nova cap because it's based on the Nova burner on it. It's burning kerosene, and I'm just trying to show that, you know, these work fine with a Bernie Dog cap on it with a Dog and Nova cap. If you need to make your stove less noisy, this is the way to go. Um, you know, there's another guy out there that sells them and caps for this stove. And you know, it's funny because they look just like mine. They look like this. And this is mine. And two months after I made mine, uh, this guy came out with caps that look exactly like mine. To me, that means he ripped me off. But you can decide however you want about that sort of thing. And these are mine. Obviously, they work great. I did a lot of research. It took me years to come up with this very unique design. Nobody has ever produced this design of cap other than me or the guy that imitates me by buying my caps and reverse engineering them. So you just base what you want to do on uh, your own set of morals and conduct. If you think it's okay for people to steal from other people, then you know, buy whatever's cheaper or more pleasant or pleasing to you. But in any case, running kerosene, and you can get this incredible low simmer, which you generally, I cannot at least, maybe you can, but I can't get that low a simmer with a flame plate. The flame plate just won't support it because the flame is too erratic. So you can't get that low simmer that you need, but using kerosene, kerosene please don't use diesel in these because diesel fuel is is a vehicle fuel it's not designed for stoves it's too heavy it's too thick and it requires the high pressure and high temperatures found in a diesel engine to properly burn it won't burn on a stove they just don't get hot enough so get yourself some k1 kerosene that's k1 is the designation for quality should be clear water white use it in this stove if you've got one of these if you want one of these um, if you like this box format then you can go for these I think they're expensive for what they are I think you can get um, you know a, a 111 T a 111 C or if you don't mind all the noise you can get a 111 just a plain 111 with a roar or burner but th this has always worked well for me. I don't understand, you know, why anybody, I don't, I just don't understand. There's a lot of things I don't understand in life. And it has a positive shut off. Hmm? There's a positive shut off. And it does require that you preheat it. There's a preheat pad inside there. You'll need to preheat your stove. I can get bigger flame if I put more pressure in here. In fact, I can get so much bigger flame that it actually will stop vaporizing and you'll get big yellow flashes of flame. So probably right about there is about as much as you want to put in terms of pressure to get uh, flame out of the stove. Okay? Uh, kerosene. Burning kerosene. Working great. No problem. Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs>